Good evening. I'm Dana Tyler. Jessica Moore is off. Thank you for staying up late with us. This random attack happened late this morning aboard a Q train as it was crossing the Manhattan Bridge. Now we're hearing from a man who was on that train. CBS 2's Jessica DeAngelis spoke with that passenger. She's live in Chinatown with this developing story. Jenna? Dana, witnesses tell police that the suspect was pacing on the train before he shot the man. The train then pulled into the station and police say the suspect ran off. We spoke to a passenger who says he didn't know what was going on. I don't think that in that moment you really have time to process that. Brooklyn resident Matthew Chavon was headed to Manhattan on the Q train. When it pulled into Canal Street subway station, he heard shouting and saw people running to the exit. I decided people aren't running for no reason. Um, let's follow them and because something's going on down the other way. He later found out a man was shot in a different train car. According to witnesses, the suspect was walking back and forth in the same train car and without provocation, pulled out a gun and fired it at the victim at close range. Police responded to the station around 11.45 a.m. to find 48-year-old Daniel Enriquez shot in the chest. He was rushed to Bellevue Hospital, but didn't make it. What we've gotten from the witnesses, there is no prior contact between the victim and the suspect. The NYPD says it's pushing more officers into the subway system, echoed by Mayor Eric Adams in an audio clip provided by his press secretary. We're going to increase that uniform presence, and it's also we're going to have those officers uh, that one may not know they are police officers to ensure that we can find those who are carrying out crimes such as this. News of another subway shooting just six weeks after 10 people were shot on a train in Brooklyn has some commuters feeling uneasy. I feel unsafe. I kind of want to get in an Uber right now. The violence just seems to be random. Like it, it's very nerve wracking. Personally, I'm still going to be riding the subway. That's my primary mode of transportation everywhere. Charlton D'Souza is president of Passengers United. I've been pleading with the MTA and the elected officials, please put cameras in the subway cars. We need to make New Yorkers feel confident that they can ride the trains. Police have not yet released a photo of the suspect. Tonight, we learned the victim was an employee at Goldman Sachs. Its CEO released a statement saying he was a dedicated and beloved member, and they are devastated by this senseless tragedy. We're live in Chinatown. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. It is sad. The search continues for this suspect. Thank you, Jenna.